Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over one worked example to show you how to do problems involving the Bohr model of the atom. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1a says, sketch the Bohr model of the atom with four electron orbits. Label the nucleus ground state and excited states. Well, if we sketch the Bohr model with circular orbits, it should look something like this, where we've got the positively charged nucleus in the middle, just drawn as a dot, and then we've got our four circular orbits around the nucleus, where we can label the first one as E0, which is the ground state, and then we can label the three outer ones as the excited states, E1, E2, and E3. Part B then says to sketch the corresponding energy levels for this atom. Label the energy levels. Well, the corresponding energy levels would be our straight horizontal lines, which would look something like this, where we've got the ground state E0 down the bottom, we've then got our excited states E1, E2 and E3, which are separated by different gap sizes, and we can label these as the excited states, and then you've got the ionisation level at the top, which you don't necessarily need to draw, but it lets you see where the line is for zero joules. And then on the left hand side, if you want, you can show that the energy levels are getting more negative as you go down the way. Part C says, what is meant by the ground state? Well, remember from the notes that the ground state is the lowest energy level that electrons can occupy. And part D asks what is meant by ionisation. Well, remember we saw this firstly in the National 5 radiation topic and then again in higher. And we say that ionisation is when an electron is completely removed from an atom. Part E says why do the electrons have negative potential energy? Well, we can say the closer an electron is to the nucleus, the less energy it has. But the further away it is, the more energy it has. And this energy is potential energy. And it says the negative values arise due to defining an electron in the ionized state as having zero potential energy, i.e. zero joules. And lastly, part F says at what point does the potential energy reach zero? Well, remember potential energy will reach zero joules at infinity, i.e. a very large distance away from the atom. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.